We turn now to Taipei's Zhongshan District, where a faulty construction project caused seven apartment buildings to sink underground last week. Five days after the incident, the evacuated residents were finally allowed home to get their belongings. Each household was given just three trips of 20 minutes each, triggering anger from some of the residents. A Taipei counselor is accusing Ji Tai Property Company of pushing ahead with construction despite red flags raised by a third-party inspector. An evacuated resident arrives, hauling two large suitcases and a hiking bag. Supermarket carts roll out, ready for action. Five days after their home sank into the ground, these Daji residents were allowed back in to fetch their belongings. It's mainly my mother's things. She's in her 90s, so I'll get her things first. The evacuees rushed to move in and out of the site. Each household had just three trips of 20 minutes each, accompanied by technicians. Once inside, great care had to be exercised for safety. There wasn't enough time to gather everything. I don't think we're being given enough time. For instance, older folk put things in particular places, and perhaps they're not able to go inside themselves. So we end up going in to help them find what they need, and that takes more time. The structures are tilted. People should not spend too much time in such an environment, because they could lose their balance. If too much time is spent inside, there could be discomfort. Taipei counselor Liu Taiwei was at the scene. She furnished a third-party inspection report showing anomalies in the construction project that caused the collapse. Dated September 1st, the report found issues with the project's inclinometer casings, drain gauge measurements, settlement points, and the starting points of its columns. The inspector had told Kitai Property Company that the report was grim. At 2 in the afternoon before the incident, the warning signs were already quite clear. And despite these glaring red flags, Kitai Property Company did nothing. The counselor said that red flags were ignored by Kitai Property Company, which pushed ahead with construction. Meanwhile, the city government is under fire for faulty oversight of construction projects.